So, previous which chapter we are discussing? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, today, adaptions in the different ecosystem. Adaptions means adjustment. Okay. So, for example, if you are going to the new school, you are, are you adjust or not? Yes. If I am uh, joining that new institution, okay, in that condition is the different, we can adjust to the situation. Every organism same like that, uh, in that uh, different, different area that uh, different. For example, you can know very well desert, water is the scarcity, temperature is the more. Okay, in the grassy land, more rain water, humidity more, okay, that is the different. Yes or no? So, every situation in that according to this lesson, okay, we have also related to the according to the situation, we can change our attitude. Okay, according to the situation, we can change our attitude. So, every moment our attitude is same, that is not good. We cannot survive. So, that's why according to the situation, we can change our attitude. If they are angry, we are also angry. If they are good, we are also good. If they are friend, we are also friend. Okay. Revenge is a nowadays is a, if you want to become a, then we can survive. Otherwise, they are eliminated in the environment. So, Charles Darwin, which of the organism, fittest organism now, this is the competitive world. In the competitive world, every organism required to the food, shelter and reproduction purpose, every organism they can fight to each other. Which of the organism, fittest organism they can survive and remaining organism they can eliminate. So that's why according to the situation, we can adjust to the situation. Is it clear? Ah, now coming to the point, adaption in the different ecosystem. You know very well, ecosystem, okay, ecosystem, ecosystem, the structural, functional unit of the biosphere is known as the ecosystem. In the ecosystem, natural, natural ecosystem, artificial ecosystem, artificial ecosystem. This natural ecosystem again classified into two types. One is the terrestrial ecosystem, terrestrial ecosystem and uh, second one is the aquatic ecosystem. In the terrestrial ecosystem, grassland ecosystem, okay, forest ecosystem, desert ecosystem, in the aquatic ecosystem, marine water ecosystem, fresh water ecosystem. Artificial ecosystem you know very well, okay. Park is a artificial ecosystem, aquarium is a okay, artificial ecosystem, crop plants is a uh, artificial ecosystem. Is it clear? So why, what are the important points is there that once I can revise, then you can understand very easily. Okay. So now coming to the point. Uh, so first point, uh, what he is explaining. Tomorrow also same timing, same class is there. Are you ready? Which time? Same this time only. Okay. Ah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Is it okay? Ah, now coming to the point. Adaption is the physiological or structural character of an organism become suited to the particular environment. So that means uh, every organism they can adjustment to the environment. Which of the organism they can adjust, they can survive. Which of the organism they cannot exist. Uh, they cannot adjust, they can eliminate in the environment. Is it clear? Yes, Organism in the nature create adaptable situation around them on the basis of their needs. 
okay so according to the needs uh, that organism they can adaptation we can see okay organisms needs food shelter light air and many other things for their survival so adaptation in the xerophytic plants xerophytic plants means uh, which of the plants they can live in the desert that is known as the xerophytic plants in that xerophytic condition as only temperature is more water is not available so on that particular area what are the adaptations xerophytic plants also known as the actually succulent stem succulent stem that is the characteristic features of the xerophytic plant and reduced leaves so there is no water so that's why that reduced to the leaves to spines are formed cones are formed okay next uh, deep root system root system is the depth is present why because water is the not availability in the soil so that's why these are the characteristic features we can see in that uh, xerophytic plant what is that succulent stem reduced leaves and deep root system is it clear yes sir next next point microscopic planktons have droplets oil in their cells that keep them float actually plankton means which of the plants live in that water so that is known as a microscopic plankton in that desert area xerophytic area actually that uh, leaves are that uh, in that water especially microscopic plankton have the droplets on them why because in this uh, if that more temperature is present so that's why uh, here uh, actually uh, so these cells uh, microscopic plankton have the droplets oil in their cells uh, keep that uh, so that's why oil is present so that's why they can float on that water next uh, each form in the marine life has become adapted a, a specific area with relatively narrow variation in the salinity temperature and light you know very well in the marine aquatic system okay more amount of the salt is present when the availability of the temperature is very less and pressure is more uh, is present on that area also some of the plants and the animals they can survive so what are the adaptations they will take uh, so first two point uh, okay electric eel is an electric fish it is capable of the generating electric shocks up to the 600 volts electric eel is a electric fish uh, this is generating electricity how much 600 volts when it uses for the hunting self defense for example anybody is fighting with you okay if you are not fighting they are weak and wet and they will go yes or no so that's why defensing mechanism purpose this electric eel is the uh, producing to the electricity actually snakes are very good they are not bite which of the toxic substances is there that is enter it is very problematic basically first of all we are tied we are bait and killing her. so that's why okay so these are the defense mechanism electrical is an electric fish it is generating to the 600 volts when it uses for the hunting self defense it is an apex predator despite its name it is not a eel but a rather a knife fish actually that is not a eel that is a knife fish the factors that affect the aquatic ecosystem are salt content actually in the aquatic ecosystem fresh water and marine water in the marine water the major component is the salt content if the more salt content is there okay they cannot survive and second one is the oxygen third one is the food and fourth one is the light fifth one is the pressure so these are the these are the okay things affect to the uh, aquatic ecosystem in the fresh water ecosystem and marine water ecosystem these are the things that they can change salt content oxygen food light and pressure okay marine life 
has adapted to incredible variety of the condition habitats in the if you see the marine water if you see the marine water marine aquatic ecosystem so many changes in the upper area availability of the oxygen is very good and availability of the okay uh, sunlight is good availability of that water oxygen food everything good if you are going to the depth uh, you know very well pressure is the increasing availability food is not available okay so that's why just a yeah, minute uh, just a minute hello ah ah emergency ah ah sir nenu akkada ikkada ayipoyin tarap chestu ah so that's why how they can live means they can uh, adaptations they can take adaptability okay now we can see okay actually here marine adaptations include symbiosis symbiosis means what for example two friends is there okay both of them interchange for example i am the blue pen you have the red pen so i want red pen you want blue pen exchange that is nothing but nothing but symbiosis camouflage camouflage so that is <laughs> look like a okay that the type so that's why any organism they are come so that is not a organ they can think this so that's why defensive behavior they can attack and fight and reproductive strategies so these are the things are we can see in the marine aquatic ecosystem in the marine adaptations now we can go to the term okay so animals living in the bottom layer of the sea actually you know very well in the marine aqua aquatic ecosystem euphotic zone benthal zone abyssal zones are three zones are present okay so which of the animals live in the bottom layer they are called most of the scavengers they can eat the other animal most of the animals are the predators most of the animals are usually blind in shape are you understanding water predators ha huh? water predators predators means one of the animal they can eat the another animal yes sir like like each other ah like carnivores in that water only they can eat that one animal eat the another animal next here based on the light penetration fresh water ecosystem divided into the two zones one is the littoral zone and the limn uh, limnetic zone and the profundal zone in this is the fresh water this is the marine water marine water ecosystem euphotic zone benthal zone abyssal zone aquatic ecosystem littoral zone limnetic zone and profundal zone three these are the three uh, zones are present uh, in the fresh water ecosystem fresh water ecosystem we can see the littoral zone and limnetic zone and profundal zone and marine water euphotic zone benthal zone abyssal zone Also, if we have solved the problem of marine, huh? If we have solved the technical problem of marine, what 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 is your question? We say the sea has solved it. Ah yes yes, that is the marine water only. Marine water. Ah ah. Ah next next one. Okay. particularly submerged plants have the numerous air space so now this is about that uh, especially i can send it to that pdf uh, okay so actually you you have the textbook uh, with you 
ah okay so that uh, once you can uh, open and read not now later once you can read uh, tomorrow you have the any doubt you can ask to me okay ah now coming to the point uh, particularly submerged plants have the numerous egg space inside the stem leaves roots that aid in the gases exchange and by all see we can see in that especially in that uh, particularly plant so in the plants in the temperate region shed their leaves before the winter in the tropical region some plants shed their leaves before the start of the summer in the pebbles plant the swollen leaves are adapted to desert condition minimizing the water loss and storing the water each pebble is a actually leaf with uh, cut with uh, windows that are lets in the light the stone like appearance deceives the animal and seals it from the being eaten okay camouflage we said now before so that next uh, the side winder yarder snake crawls sideways with only small amount of its uh, body pressed against the host stand this technique help to keep uh, itself to the cold the golden mole escape the heat of the sun by the swimming through the sand just below the surface it can find all the needs below the ground and it rarely emerges out these are the all of the adaptations we have seen is it clear yes next the kangaroo the kangaroo kangaroo is the very it is present especially in that kangaroo is the very famous for australia okay the kangaroo rat of western north america desert can live without drinking water throughout its life once you can see this words the kangaroo rat of the western north america desert can live without drinking water throughout its life because its body synthesizes little water in the process of the digestion okay next the desert bird the sand crow flies long distance to young oasis in search of the water which it carries back in its crop for its nestling okay the desert bird the sand crow flies long distance to an oasis in search of the water which it carries back in its crop for its nestling animals living in the cold region have a thick layer of the fat or thick fur coat covering their bodies okay you know very well the protect themselves from the extreme of the hot and cold condition animals is called hibernation hibernation summer sleep is called hibernation winter sleep is called estivation examples frog okay so generally you know very well summer temperature is a more is there you already studied in that uh, migration bird in the eighth class migration bird actually that uh, bharatpura sanctuary that uh, okay cranes cranes so actually in that uh, they are coming to russia to in india bharatpura sanctuary why because in the winter season so much of the cold is present escape from the winter cold that uh, these are the cranes are coming from the russia to in our india in the summer season when it is hot so more temperature is there escape from the summer temperature they will again they can go to that uh, again their original places so summer sleep is called hibernation winter sleep is called estivation so example frog is it clear next uh, do you know lichens lichens means al algae and fungi algae and fungi both of them together they can live that is known as the lichens algae they can synthesize their own food so fungi is the depend upon the algae 
So what they are releasing that carbon dioxide taken by the plant? What that uh, all they are releasing to the oxygen? They are depend upon the fungi. So that's why which of the organism they can coordinate and uh, mutual understanding. So actually, rhizobium leguminosarum in that fabaceae plant. These are the root nodules. Okay, provide to the shelter to the rhizobium leguminosarum. This rhizobium leguminosarum. Molecular nitrogen converted into the nitrate or ammonia, so that's why plants are taking to the oxygen. So both of them beneficial to each other. This is called symbiosis. We have studied in the eighth class. Yes or no? Yes. Here also the lichens. In lichen, the fungus provide water and minerals to the algae, while the algae perform the photosynthesis and supplies the food in the form of sugar. to the fungus due to such symbiotic adaptation lichens are able to survive even in the extreme conditions also okay next next okay adaptation takes place over a long period duration also okay adaptation takes place over a long period duration also charles darwin in the year 1885 Landed from the famous ship HMS Beagle on the one of the islands of the group Galapagos Islands. Galapagos Island, very very important. Charles Darwin in the year 1885 landed from the famous ship HMS Beagle on the on one of the island of the group is called Galapagos Island. So his most remarkable observation had been about the finch birds. What what he was observed finch bird and was amazed to see 13 types of the finches that differ with respect to the beak and the color of the nose. They have different uh, beaks, different colors. Okay, our state bird is also a finch bird. What is our state bird? Okay, he concluded that adaptation was something that an organism is undergoing continuously, even within very closely related forms in a particular geographical separated area. So this is about that, uh, especially okay, adaptation in the plants, adaptation in the plants. Okay, so adaptation in the different ecosystem. Some of the examples, uh, so they are given to the not send uh, very important points. They are given mangroves. Do you know mangroves? Mangroves means that is not a actually if it is a marine water that is the complete uh, okay salt water. Fresh water that is the fresh water. Mangroves means that is the mixed of the fresh water and the uh, uh, marine water that is called mangrove. So in our country, which of the state is the mangroves are available? Do you know West Bengal? Yes. Who is the Chief Minister of West Bengal? Mamata Banerjee. Okay. So mangroves, plants grow at a sea shore, growing in wet and salty places. What is that? Mangroves means plants grow at a sea shore, growing in a wet and salty places is called mangroves. Next, do you know nocturnal? Actually, we are working in the morning. We can sleep in the night. Yes or no? But some of the animals wake up early. Wake up at night, sleep morning. So, which are the animals they can wake up at night? That is known as the nocturnal. Nocturnal animals which are active during the night. What is the examples of the nocturnal? Do you know bat? Bat. 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 B a t. Bat. W a b. Yes, sir. Ah. Next. bear neck is so that means uh, what is the respiratory organ in the fishes gills 
Hence is the respiratory organs. So fish that attach itself to the object under the water is called vernacles. Next, herring gulls, a large North Atlantic bone of the gull family with black tips to its wing is called herring gulls. Okay. Next, camouflage. So, the way in which animal's color or shape matches its surrounding and makes it a different to see, so that is called camouflage. Very, very, very important. Camouflage means the way in which animal's color or shape matches its surrounding and makes it different to see, that is called camouflage. And uh, Symposium, a small conference, a meeting at which experts have the discussion about a particular subject is called Symposium. Adaption, what is the meaning of the adaption? Adaptions means an adaption is a characteristic or a trait developed by an organism to assistance its survival, which of the organisms they can survive for a long time. So that organism is known as the adaption. And uh, zero fights, zero fights means which of the organism they can synthesize, they can live in that desert area. Okay. So it is a species of a plant that has adapted to survive in man any environment such as a desert, which of the organism they can live in the desert that they can show to that uh, zero fights, zero fight plant, zero fighting animal, which of the animals live in that uh, desert is called zero fighting plant, which of the animals live in that uh, okay, desert that is the zero fighting animals, zero fighting plant, zero fighting means which of the organism live in the de desert, zero fights means desert. Desert's condition is the different now. There is no availability of the water. There is no more amount of the temperature is present. So that's why according to the situation that the organism they can, adaptions they can show. Okay. If you see the plants, if you see the plants, root system is a very deep glow. Okay. There is no leaves. Why? Because uh, there is no water. Spines are present, thorns are present, succulent stem is present. So these are the adaptions we can see. And uh, scavengers, scavengers means for example uh, in the terrestrial also if that plants and animals uh, if they are dead, dead bacteria and the fungi they are decaying. So these are known as the scavengers. Okay, scavengers means in the scavenging in the both the carnivores and the herbivores feeding behavior in which the scavenger feed on the dead and decaying the organic matter present in the habitat. If the, for example, we are dead, plants are dead, who are the cleaning in the nature? Bacteria and fungi. So that bacteria and fungi is called scavenger. These are the scavengers of the clean the earth, clean the environment. If there is no microorganism, every, this environment earth is the polluted. Yes or no? Some of the useful bacteria, some of the useful microorganisms are present, some of the harmful microorganisms. Next, uh, you see now, euphotic zone. Euphotic zone means uh, we can see in that, uh, okay, especially in that, uh, uh, especially in that uh, marine water ecosystem, the photic, uh, you, the photic zone or euphotic zone is the depth of the water in the lake or ocean that is exposed to the sufficient sunlight for the photosynthesis. Which of that availability of the light is present that is known as the euphotic zone. This euphotic zone also known as the photic zone. Availability of the sunlight so that's why they are called euphotic zone. And uh, benthal zone, benthal zone, the zone is present between the 200 meter to the 2000 meter is called benthal zone. Here the temperature is the 4 degrees to the 39 degrees. We find very dim light in that upside zone. Upside zone means there is no sufficient amount of the sunlight. 
the zone is present between the 2000 to the 6000 meter it is very dark here the temperature is the 2 to 3 degrees only organism on this zone are the very bright they are the scavengers are present so that is the oxide zone in that uh, especially in the marine water ecosystem three zones are present euphotic zone benthic zone oxide zone euphotic zone light availability how much is the availability is there that is known as the euphotic zone benthic zone 200 meter to the 2000 meter temperature is the 4 to 39 degree light is very dim oxide zone is the light is not available 2000 meter to the 6000 meter and temperature is the 2 to 3 degree that uh, organism they are blind in shape next uh, you can see that especially in the tap fresh water ecosystem littoral littoral zone hypnotic zone and profundal zone so littoral zone uh, is a uh, part of the tide, especially rivers that is close to the shore very near to the shore and limnotic zone is a well lit open surface water in the lakes are away from the shore. Profundal zone means this is the deep of the body water that is known as the profundal zone. And phytoplankton, phytoplankton means which of the plants are available for that water. So phytoplankton zone is the deep zone of the body water such as the ocean or the lake located in the region effective of the light penetration such that photosynthetic uh, plants which are the they can prepare their food that is known as the photo, uh, photoplankton zone bio uh, sense some of the organism you can show they are showing to the light okay so emission of the visible light by living organisms such as the pipe fly and various fish and fungi bacteria amphibians Amphibians means which of the organism they can live in the land and water is called amphibian. Okay, amphibians are the ectotherpic and tetrapod vertebrates of that class amphibia. They live in that water as well as a water that is called amphibian. And estimation. Estimation is a state of the animal dormancy. So actually. Okay, so estimation uh, generally this we can see that the summer sleep hibernation is called winter sleep. Ecosystem, a unit of the biosphere, the structural functional unit of that biosphere is called ecosystem. Okay, puddles, small amount of the water or liquid specially rain that has a collected in one place is the ground is called a puddle. Finch, a small bird with a short beak, our state bird also known as the finch. These are the finch was especially most of the Charles Darwin is discovered this finch bird, especially in that HMS beetle, okay, in that Galapagos Island. So, this is the adaptions. What are the adaptions we can see in that plants and animals? Okay, tomorrow also we have the same class. 625, 642, 725. Okay? Huh? Uh, no, no, no. Another chapters have. More two chapters have. Once you can read and come, this any doubts you can ask to me. Okay?